I can't win for losing. <laughs> That's the conversation we're going to have today on Relationship Thursday. How you doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, I wanted to talk about this particular topic because too many people live in this arena where it's, it's usually said, I can't win for losing. Or another way people will put it is they'll say, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. And both of those are self-defeating. And I don't, you know, I try my best to, if I can help you, if you're open to changing your thought process, then I'm willing to talk to and, and help people through that step. But if you're a person that wants to stay in that kind of mindset, then I'm probably not going to hang around you. And, it, and the reason for that is, is you're sabotaging yourself. And to me, there's nothing worse than to watch somebody actually sabotage themselves. Um, because as you guys know, my goal is to simplify your life, get you to, out here and enjoying it, having some fun. And, uh, and if you're determined to just be depressed, <laughs> I don't want to join you. Now, if you want to come over, you know I've talked about being on a different path, different roads. If you want to be on the road that's here to enjoy yourself, come on, man, let's, uh, our lady, you know, come on, let's hang out, let's enjoy yourself. But anyway, when, um, I was thinking about that because, like, even when I played sports or even when I would go to the parks, or even now if I go to the park and play basketball, and you know how people will say, oh, man, their, their team is stacked. They got, they got all the good players. Man, we're going to get killed. For me personally, same thought process. I don't want to play with you. If you're on my team and that's your thought process, I don't want to play with you. Either go join their team or I'll sit out and let somebody sub for me and I'll play the next game. I don't want to play with you. Why? Back to what I said. I believe no one knows their full potential, and most people don't live to their full potential. That's why when I hear people, you're not living to your potential. We have no idea what human beings are capable of. So to ever sell yourself short is not a good place to hang out. See, when people say people uh, uh, exceeded expectations, yes, your expectations. That's the key. Don't let someone else put expectations on you. They're basically telling you that you exceeded my expectations. Good. That's why I'm not living my life according to your expectations because obviously they're not that high for me. And I'm going to push myself to be the best I can be. And because of that thought mentality, the chances of you getting to arenas where you will win, where you're quote unquote not supposed to. That's why especially uh, uh, college sports where you know you have this, where well, they have the playoff system now, but in a lot of playoffs where you have the single elimination like basketball in the, in the tournament the college tournament where single elimination a lot of teams a lot of times the best team doesn't actually win why because a single elimination does it mean that i mean because sometimes teams play and they have an off night for whatever reason their shots are not going down or whatever they maybe took the other team light they didn't play all out and the other team came and played all out. See, that's my attitude. That's why even if I go to the park, if you're not going to play all out, then I don't want to play with you. Because I know the chances of us winning are very good if we got everybody on the team that's sold on winning. Especially if you're playing at a park. Because guys do get, you know, very arrogant. You know, like, man, psh, uh, look at the people in their squad. They ain't, they ain't got a chance. And they go through the motions. All you got to do is play hard. Next thing you know... They're scraping and scrambling, trying to get back in the game. Too late. Now they're sitting on the sideline talking about, man, I can't believe we lost to them. We know we had the squad. What's up? Because you didn't come to play. You took people lightly. Now, what does that have to do with relationships? It has to do with the fact of the same thing. If you believe that you look at a person and you think they're too good for you, they're, you're not qualify for them you guys follow me then you're not going to go after them and you're not going to give what you have why because you're selling yourself short you can't live your life that way you have to be able to say i can have anything i'm i'm willing to put my mind to and go after and then go after to make it happen if you feel that way in a relationship that man relationships don't work 
man, I've always had bad luck anytime I got into relationships. They just, it's just the way it is. You hear all that defeating conversation. How would you ever expect to quote unquote have good luck or to find the right person or to get a victory if your mindset is already messed up to begin with? You're already in a defeated uh, perspective. You're already like, game over. I remember, um, and, and I'm not really a boxing fan. I probably haven't really been a boxing fan since Sugar Ray Leonard was actually in boxing. So those that know boxing know that's a long time ago. But uh, I remember Muhammad Ali would always tell people, you know, well, not always, but there are fights where he would predict what round he would knock people out. And he'd do it. Why? Because he had those people so messed up when they came in the ring. They were defeated before the fight. If he said, I'm going to knock you out in the third round, the whole third round, you know mentally they're thinking, I can't get knocked out in the third. I can't get knocked out in the third because the fact is he said he's going to knock me out in the third. So I know he's coming all out and I got to be prepared. Well, what happens is because your mind is not focused on what you're doing, you're not giving everything you have because you're too focused on the wrong stuff. You're focused on not getting caught with a punch so that he doesn't fulfill what he said. And you guys know in life, whatever it is you keep saying, I don't want this to happen, I don't want it to happen, it happens. Why? That which you focus on becomes reality. Think about that. That which you focus on becomes reality. Whether we want to call that good or bad, because only we get to define if it's good or bad, but whatever you focus on becomes your reality. So if you're a person that believes that you can't find the right partner, or the right partner doesn't exist, how are you going to ever find them? They could be standing right next to you. You would never give them the time of day, or you're going to do something to sabotage you. Think about that. If you believe relationships don't work, or you believe, and, and which is kind of that I can't win, I can't win in relationships, and that's kind of where, where, where I'm tying all this in, or the bad luck, because every time I get in a relationship, I find out there's something wrong with her or there's something wrong with him. And I just, oh, I just can't, I just can't get things to go my way. If you have that mentality, you can run across a person that fits exactly what you're looking for, can be that person to, to break this string of bad luck or the K win and turn it into a victory. But guess what you're going to do? You're going to destroy it. You're going to cause it to, to be, end up into a loss or bad luck. Why? Because of your thoughts. You're going to start doing things to sabotage the relationship. You're going to start, if they don't come at a certain time, you're going to accuse them of cheating on you or doing something wrong. Or there's certain times you're supposed to be played, you're not going to show up on time. But you're going to start doing different things. And unfortunately for most people, it's unconscious. You don't even recognize that you're doing it. But you'll find a way to sabotage that which you say you truly want. So you have to change that thought process. And that's why I said for me, and that's why I started off with the can't win and the bad luck, because to me, it all falls in the same category. You got to step into every game believing there's an opportunity for me to win. And as long as there's an opportunity, and that's why I said, folks, things happen. Sometimes injury happens to people, which we're never going to wish any bad luck on some, somebody. But you'll get beat by a team who had an injury because you came in the, in, into the game believing you couldn't win. So even if they start losing key players, they still beat you. And there's no way they should have beat you without the key people. But you came in with a defeated mentality. Versus coming in and saying, I don't care, care who steps on the court, on the field. You're going to have to beat me because I'm giving everything I have. And that's the same thing in relationships. You got to be willing to say, I'm going to give everything I have, which is why I know I'm going to attract the person I say I want. But first, get us together. You guys know I keep saying the same thing. Let's get you together, which is really the whole idea of this whole conversation. If you have the can't win or the bad luck, thought process, we got to correct that first. Isn't that amazing how everything always keeps running back to the same starting point, which is you. Get rid of your problems, your thought process. So that's why, again, we talk about on Self Love Monday, but that's why that's so important. We got to start there 
get that taken care of and this other stuff, man, we start winning at everything that we do. So don't ever step into a relationship. Don't step into any situation, any challenges in life with the attitude, I can't win. Or with the attitude, man, I know it's not going to work because I just have bad luck. Folks, I truly believe if that's your mentality, just go back to bed. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. No, don't go back to bed because that's the worst thing you need to do. We don't want you living in that. But uh, I'm just, but I'm using that just so you understand, Sam, because you basically have you've messed up that opportunity by that mindset. And again, please don't go back to bed. I'd rather you take the time to say, okay, I recognize. Remember, we get to pause as human beings. That's the beautiful part. You get to say, wow, I have a defeating mentality. I have a defeating thought process. I'm looking at her, and, and, and those of you guys know, I've shared this story before where I accidentally ended up on a dating site, and I didn't know. I mean, it was, it was uh, I came across a picture on one of my social media, and it was a picture of me and my wife, and so I was like, okay, I need to update all my social medias, you know, because those of you who know my story or don't know my story, I lost my wife six years ago to cancer. So for my social media stuff, you know, it's like, okay, that's been six years ago. And, and so anything that still has pictures of her and I hanging out, and, and this is not a negative, and I hope you guys understand that to pull her pictures off. But it's, it's you know, if I'm taking pictures and people start to see that, that don't know my story, start to say, why is he still taking pictures or still got all these pictures floating up of him and his wife? And, uh, and, and of course, for ladies would be wondering, saying he ain't moved on. <laughs> and you guys know I would hear that story and be like, he ain't moved on. He's still, he's still taking pictures uh, and got those everywhere, social media of his wife. So, and so it's not a negative. It's just saying, in my current situation, I am single. So, therefore, if I'm out here marketing, I am single. So, that's what I have to show it as. And so anyway, I was looking at, at, at one of those pictures and I decided to go and change the, the picture. And um, all of a sudden they're asking these questions and I'm sitting there going, why are you asking me all these questions? Like, um, what was what was some of the questions it was asking? Like, um, what, you know, do you like this? Do you, you know, like sporting or do you like, you know, basically just the question, just a survey. And I'm, I'm going like, I don't really care. I just want to change my picture. So why are you guys asking? Me? So I'm just checking off and answering questions. And then eventually I got to the point where I was like, I'm not asking no more questions. I'm like, I'm done. And so I'm just like, forget it. I'm just not going to change my picture. I, if I got to go through all this. And then um, as I was about to click out, I noticed it was one of the dating sites. And I'm like, whoa, now how did I end up on the dating site? You know, I'm like, that's crazy. So I had actually uh, had closed out of it. And I was like, man, I didn't mean to be on no dating site. And I was talking to my nephew and sharing that with him. And he said, well, uncle, you've always told me everything happens for a reason. And there's a reason that this occurred. So you ended up on that page for a reason. And I'm sitting here like, I ain't trying to get on no dating site. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of the thought process I'm having with myself. I'm like, I know that's what I said. Because you know what we tell people and what we do a lot of times ain't the same thing. But I was like, I ain't trying to get on no dating site. You know, that's kind of the, the thought process. And so I'm like, okay, okay. You're right. I have said that. So let me go do it. So I went back and I completed it. And I was just looking on the site. And I was probably on page 10, 15. And I hadn't found anyone that I was attracted to. Now, I know some of you probably go, ooh, he's so shallow. How you get to page 10 or 15 and you ain't found nobody? Folks. In the beginning, whether people like to hear this or not, physical attraction is what's going to draw you in. Why? Because you don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know if the stuff on their profile is correct. I really don't even know if the picture is accurate. Because we know how many times people put pictures and it ain't really them. Or they use their high school picture or whatever. But you guys know what I'm talking about. So none of that. But if I have to start at a starting point, she's got to at least be someone that I'm physically attracted to. To at least draw me in. It's the same thing. When you first meet a person, if they're sitting there and the shirt's all sloppy and and, and the hair look like it, it comes, the chances of, of, of you being attracted to them probably pretty slim because you're instantly 
this is the first appearance, so you're writing your own stories about them, whether they're accurate or not, but you're still writing your story. So in the beginning, that's all you had to go by. So basically, I was at page 10 or 15, and I finally found someone that physically, I was like, whoa, whoa, now this one, all right, she, she's got it going on. So I started reading her profile. And then I started looking at some of her pictures, and she, you know, she had been, she's been divorced, and and um, but I, I saw her husband used to be a doctor and I saw the places on her pictures, you know, where she had been eating at and the different restaurants and the horse riding and croquet and all this different stuff. And I'm like, oh, so, so she's used to that lifestyle of, of financial abundance. And I'm sitting there and all of a sudden inside of me, that defeated mentality came in to where I started to think, man, ain't no way in the world I could get this girl. I'm not good enough for her. It's like, she'll judge me. I did that. You see, folks, I did. she didn't do nothing. The girl ain't even heard from me, heard about me or nothing. I wrote that story. And then I was like, Whoa. And, folks, I had ended up getting off the Internet, and it just hit me. And I'm like, man. I had a, a long conversation with myself that night, and it hit me. It said, oh, that's the reason you signed up for that site. You lost yourself, Ron. Somewhere along the line, you you bought into the fact that you believe there's some woman out here that's, that you're not good enough for. I was like, oh my goodness. Because I've never been a person that thought that. I've never been a person that looked at any woman and said, she's too fine for me. She's too good for me. That didn't exist. Somewhere along that line, I lost that thought process of me which means the way I felt about myself was not good. And I was like, oh, whoa, wake up time. And that's when I got focused and I said, and this is also when I got back on track with all my, my, my programs and everything else because I said, you're not even practicing what you're talking about. You lowered your self-esteem. You lost yourself somewhere along this line. Regain your championship. Those of whom you told the story, you got the belt around your waist. You forgot you a champion. And I had to look down and go, wait a minute. I'm a champion. Ain't no woman out here that's too good for me. I don't care how much money she has. I don't care how fine she is. Bro, you got to get your, get your thought process back in shape. And I did. And that's what inspired me to go out here and, and start getting back into all the stuff that I'm doing. And for those of you that are wondering, yeah, I sent a message to her. I never got a response, you know, but I stepped into the game because of the fact is, and I don't know, maybe she looked at my profile, wasn't excited or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But I took the step because I had that conversation and said, you know what? Ain't no woman that good. And I hope I don't offend any of you in the process, but I want you to know that ain't no woman too good. And you got to get to that point in yourself to understand that that never have that defeating, I'm not good enough, I'm not valuable enough, I can't win, I can't be victorious, any of that. Any of that stuff, you let go out the back door and you step in every game to win. Because the opportunity is, is, is always, doors are always going to be open. But if you don't even step in, you ain't even got a chance. As, I, as the saying says, you can't make any free throw, talking about basketball for an example, you can't make any shot. That's the example. It says you can't make any shot that you don't take. That's real. So you got to at least get in the game, at least put the shot up. Only then do you have a chance. And so that's why I took my shot. I never heard anything, but it didn't phase me one way or the other. I had to do that for myself because I had to recognize, oh, no, no, no. We ain't playing that game. <laughs> oh, no, Ron, we ain't living in that arena. Nobody. No one, no human being is too good for you. So I hope you guys got the point. The whole idea, if we got that defeated mentality, let's change that. Let's go out here and let's win. And as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It's my opinion. So for those of you who we talk on self-love Monday, I look forward to talking to you on Monday. For those of you on Relationship Thursday, I look forward to talking to you again back here next Thursday. But folks, just remember, you can't have a defeating mentality. You can't have the bad luck mentality. You got to get all of that correct 
in order to attract the person that you say you truly desire so that you don't end up settling because the fact is you bought into bad programming. So as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.